Hello there. How are you? I hope you're doing well on this Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Monday, Monday. As promised, I'm going to do a Torah reading. A Torah. A Taurus reading. <laughs> it's a Monday. It's a Monday. Here we go. Let's do a nine card spread. Oh. Oh, here we are, Taurus. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups upright. Oh. Lordy, Lordy. We start off with the uh, Six of Cups in reverse next to the Two of Cups and Death in reverse. So, again, with this relationship, it is a um I don't want to say a disappointment, but that's the word that's coming. This this relationship is at this point disappointing. At this point disappointing. Um you guys have past lives together in a lot of past life, a lot of past energy. The connection here is hella strong. But the 3D energy is, it's like you're writing a story on an Etch-A-Sketch and someone keeps on bumping it. it. It gets erased and you have to start all over. Frustration doesn't even begin to explain. Ah, uh, let's do some clarification. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And there you are. The pre-empress, nine of pentacles, and the empress, oh, in reverse. So, the gift from the universe. Can you see this? I'm not sure you can see this. The gift from the universe is... Uh, like here's something take it away here's something take it away it's almost like a, a tease where you see what it is that you have been praying for manifesting no wonder he's in reverse and it's like here it is nah not yet it's almost like someone's showing you a beautiful lovely delicious cake that's that's in the oven and you're like i would like that very much and the universe is like, not ready, not ready. Somehow you are finding your footing. You are finding your footing. <sighs> because you have reclaimed your energy from chasing this person like a, a crazy person. You, you're just like, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> That didn't work. You come back because you were you were just beyond tapped financially. Well, we're going to see about finances in here. Financially, you were tapping yourself. You're still a little bit in the red. Um, you were doing mega body work, uh, working on wardrobe. I see people buying things, and now you're like chill, chill. Some of you, again, these are generalized readings. It can't be for every Taurus. Some of you are actually going through your closets, which is a great allegory to this reading. And you're looking at things that you haven't used, wore, and you're, you're making a donation pile. This is brilliant. And it feels so good to get rid of some of that uh, stagnant stagnation because you've been in the stagnation it's anything that is going to help move that blockage 
you know, any kind of fiber to move that blockage is wonderful. You're, you're in reverse, Taurus, you're, you're the Empress in reverse. And what it, of course, you know what reverse means. It doesn't mean the opposite. Um, instinctively, we would say the opposite. Um, it, not necessarily, let me put it that way. What it is, is, is your, your footing is way off. I mean, you're finding your footing, but you're not, you're not on your throne right now. You're not. You're, you're, you, you're in the room. You're in the room. You know, you know where it is and you're, you're walking towards it, but you're not on it yet. Two of Cups, it can't be denied. It cannot be denied. The two of you. And just so you know, they're in pain too. Not that you're going to be happy that they are in pain, but they're uncomfortable as well. Uncomfortable to the point of they had to do something drastic. Like um, something with social media. They did something like, okay, either they gave their phone to a friend to hold for them. Um, in a way, they were getting a bit of addicted to you. In a way, yeah. I, I know addiction is a physical uh, dependency on, on something, but it can also be an emotional dependency. And I, I do want to throw that word around because it has very strong implications. But you were becoming part of their daily routine and they're still doing their stuff right now. It's just, ugh. Page, Ace of Swords in reverse, the High Empress in reverse, and the waiting game. Um, right, so here we are. What, what you would rely on those little clues that they used to give you, they're not there. You know, those little, what did we call them last time? Easter eggs? And someone, a, a couple of you helped me out with what that could mean, like little hints. Those are few and far between. The High Priestess, when I see this in reverse, when I see her beautiful face in reverse, it's it's as if someone's holding someone by the ankles and shaking them and all of their, whatever is in their pockets falls out. So slowly things are being leaked out or you are, this is probably more to the point, you are instinctively coming to understand something that no one needs to find you and tell you in words. Please trust your instinct trust your intuition you're not going to i almost said get through this you're not going to you're going to make yourself crazy if you don't trust yourself you're not being gaslit you know very well what's going on in reverse Oy. It, it's it's like a, that cake again you see it you can you can smell it you can almost taste it and yet it's all it might as well be a world away and sometimes you you might even say it to yourself or out loud or even to a friend that the two of you might as well be on separate planets this is a no way over. It's okay. I, I'm. Please help me with this. You're 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 in a car. You're traveling down a highway, and the highway branches off and goes into a new highway. So you're on Highway 94, and it changes to Highway 51. You're still on the highway. You're still going towards your destination. But you branched off 
not into a different direction. The route, I'm going to leave that there because I don't want to, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going like this, spiraling down into this um, visual. So I'm going to leave it there. It's not over. The Hierophant, there you are, in reverse. So it's almost as if you're in a dark room. You know where everything is in this room, but you can't quite see it, or you can't see it well enough in order for you to utilize them. I hope that makes sense. You're in a dark room, sitting in a chair. Someone comes in and turns off almost all of the lights and you know where everything is. You're not a stranger to this room, but you can't see it well enough to utilize what is there. Directions and details. I see that merging, that directions. I, I see it, it, it. The word merge is, I'm sorry, the wrong term. You're, are you, you're merging onto, I see, I don't, I don't drive long distances. So you're driving, you're driving and then you go onto a different highway. So it's the two of swords in reverse is showing me you really don't have a choice. That's the highway and there you are and there you go. The details, you are right now big into the details. You're looking at those things which are tapping your energy and you're reclaiming your energy. Some of you are feeling selfish. Some of you are feeling this strange selfish slash guilt. I don't know why. Stop it. Please stop it. You have nothing to feel guilty or shame about. It's something in your... Um, hyper, and you want to look this up, hyper vigilance, hyper vigilance, hyper vigilance. And what I'm seeing is one person running around trying to do uh, uh, many things at once. It's beyond ADD, ADHD. You are, you are running. And if you, what's keeping you running is this hyper vigilance. If, if, if this rings true to you, please look it up. It's a bit of, um, I don't want, you know, this is a tarot reading. Okay. So check it out. Guilt, shame, useless. They're useless energy zappers. Those magician in reverse, you know it, you know it. I'm so sorry for this. It's difficult what you're going through. It's difficult, but at the silver lining in this cloud is you know that everything is going to work out. It's just right now. You're going to have to sit through this kind of crappy movie and wait till the, the credits at the end to see, you know, how the story goes. I know many people like to just, well, just tell me how it's going. No, you have to go through this. You, this is part of your, so all contract and what you wanted to learn and, and part of what you're learning is your worth, your value, and why it, it never helps to chase after someone. For those of you this is not for, don't come after me in the comments. For those of you who needed to hear this, I, I wanted you to know you have great value. You have great value. And you know this, so you don't, you don't really need me to say it. Magician in reverse. So it really seems like everything. Okay, I'm seeing Tu Wang Fu. Okay, there's a character. John Leguinamos. John Legumes. He says, um, everything I touch turns to caca oh you know he's everything i touch doesn't turn into caca okay so right now you're right at that point like everything i'm trying to do is not working out 
<laughs> clarification. You're not in competition with yourself. Dreams are coming true. And uh, so it's just not happening fast enough for you, but it is happening. This does not mean the opposite at this time. This means it is a challenge. The, the happy thing is that you're getting to the point of you're, you're not in competition in your head anymore. You're not as vested in what they're doing as you used to be, which was a little, I mean, almost, <laughs> you know, <laughs> keep those dreams going. Keep those dreams, even though this, the, the brilliant Aquarius energy star card landed on top of, of the magician in reverse, keep those dream journals and maintain those goals and dreams. You need that right now. You need to have that goal, goals and dreams. Otherwise, it's a little bit, uh, dismal. It's almost like it's raining, it's raining, it's raining. You need this beautiful Aquarius energy, the star. You need that. The world in reverse, uh, yeah. you're still going through it. Uh -huh, you're feeling it. If things aren't fair, and the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is slow. Do you see that little, you know, that's not even a gallop. It's just like the horse is, oh, I'm putting one foot in front. The, the, yeah, are, are they coming? Yeah, yeah, they're coming uh, very slowly. And um, they're bearing a, a little gift. So hopefully in the middle of this reading, here we are. Um, things are not fair. You know how you're feeling right now, three of, of swords. And that really has to do not with an event, but the overall feeling of, of what you have been going through, which has quite frankly been too much. Things are not fair. And your person is going to, it's beyond an Easter egg. Can I? Okay, as promised, we are going to go into part two of the previous reading where I'm going to try to tap into some of their messages. Sorry about that. Um, I was going, I was trying to tap into their messages in the last two days. They don't, they're, they're either, they were in the last two days, not a, I wasn't able to. I'm, I'm not the best reader in the world anyway. I'm, I'm just, I just read the energies. But when I'm not able to tap into an energy, I just see cards in front of me and the cards are like, well, here's a story. I, but there's a story, but there's no energy behind it. So I, I don't connect with it um, on a spiritual level. So in the last two days, their messages, so either they don't know how they feel or it's out of their control or um, or they're in pain too. And see, we see the five of cups. I think it's them. I'm going to, I tell you what, I, I really, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do some deep meditation and then go into um, the messages from them, which will be part two of the tarot reading two days ago. But I can't make it up. I can't lie. If, if, if the energy is not there, it can't happen today either. I just, you know, send me some good mojo, send me some love or some good, um, pray for me so that I can tap into some energy, but I won't tell you something that is not there. This is them. They're in competition. Oh no, no, no. So, they have loose lips and they have been talking about you because they are confused too. And when people are confused and in pain, they say all kinds of cray cray. And they have been talking to their family and their friends and saying things about you. And now their family and friends are like, well, what's, what's with that crazy person? Have you heard from them lately? And they're like, Hey, they're not such a crazy person. And actually they're very sweet and nice. And so, oh yeah, I'm going to do my best to, to understand what they're trying to say. Um, Sneaky Pete got caught. Sneaky Pete got caught um, trying to play a game. Mm. 
what were you doing? Not you. You're, you're, either you're a Taurus or you're a Taurus cross, cross watcher. This person's on um, one of those apps. This person is on one of those apps that hook up apps. And they're not happy with it. They just do it. They're trying to get something and they end up with nothing. Ah. <clears throat> happens all the time with Taurus. Queen of Wands. Your person can be hella, hella flirtatious when they want to. I mean, they will dress up. I, you know, I am a feeling that we're going to get some messages today. Sorry, needed a blast of coffee. Needed a blast of coffee here. I think we're going to get some messages today. I'm going to try my best, you guys, okay? They have something to say to you. And by the way, your person can be... Forgive me, I'm hearing, I'm hearing a term, bipolar. Forgive me. I don't know. I, I'm just going to tell you what I heard. I heard bipolar. And I'm not a clinical psychologist. Does anyone... I'm asking my spirit guides. Can anyone help me? Can anyone help me? Okay. It could be a colloquial way of saying bipolar. Forgive me. For I, I don't want to offend anyone, anyone who is dealing with mental illness. I don't want to offend. But sometimes people say you're acting bipolar. And that is the, that's how it came out to me. And forgive, 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 forgive. Your person sometimes just hot and cold. They can go from hot to cold, from flirtatious to on fire. Either, I mean, but why? They have uh, low self-esteem. They're not quite sure what to think of you. They don't know quite sure what to think of you sometimes. They feel like, they know your energy is strong, hell is strong, and they wonder why you want to deal with them. Okay, all of a sudden they want to talk to me. Okay, I'll, I'll finish this and then I'll try to tap back into where I am right now. Just to share with you, I do automatic writing with my... This is what I'm feeling right now. The confusion and then now they want to, to speak... Those are little energy spheres, much like the Six of Wands. Hang band. They're seeing things from a different perspective. It's true. There, you can't make this crap up. There is our Six of... One, two, three, four, five, six. Interestingly enough, I have nine wands here in this... Confusion, Nine Wands, which is the Wounded Warrior stance. But here is our Six Wands of Communication. They're seeking the truth. And another Ace of Wands. Fire, fire, on fire. In reverse. They are doing everything they can. Not to let you off the hook they don't want you to see someone else they don't want you to find someone else they don't want you to talk to someone else and they don't want to talk to you 
or they can't talk to you. This person might have addiction problems, challenges, history. This person might have addic addiction history. I'm sorry, please. This is tarot card. This is tarot reading. I'm just reading the energy and the cards and that's the strong, they go, this might, that might explain a lot of the roller coaster and, and how different it is for them to deal with their emotions because before they just did their drug of choice or drink of choice or whatever of choice rather than dealing with their emotions. Oh my goodness. No more second chances it's in the waiting position <laughs> and the King of Pentacles in reverse. There you are. Home is upside down. Just, but you're, you're cleaning your closets and you're making room for, for new things, which is very, a great allegory too. You know what it's feel, what it feels like for second chances. So perhaps with their AODA issues or their addiction issues, you realize how difficult it is for second chances. This new world coming in, you're on hold. King of Pentacles, this is where I see your budget is a little bit blown. The, the cheddar, the cheddar is out of place. Your budget is a little stretched. Again, not for everyone. Okay. Where this person may have been juggling. Do you see how they are definitely looking at one of the pentacle? One of the pentacles. They've made their choice. It's you. Baby, it's you. What do we have? Oh, blessed be. The sun card, the happiest card in the tarot deck. Can you hold on? Can you keep yourself positive? Can you keep yourself busy enough for this journey to, I mean, you're, you're, you're on the road, you're on highway 94 and you're, you're merging onto 51 or are you going up north? You're not left out in the cold. It feels like it. It feels like it, but you're not. And there's our ten of wands. So much fire energy throughout this reading. You have a burden. The burden is your reality right now. Page of Cups. That is at that was at the bottom of the deck. Do you see how that fish is kind of let me tell you let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a secret. And cups. I think you're going to hear some communication from this person oh, or actually from a fish. You're going to, you're going to hear a communication from a little fish, a little birdie, a little uh, friend who has been watching their friend in torment. And they're a little bit of a Budinsky. They're a little bit of a busy body, mm -hmm, a little bit of a gossip. And that, in fact, they were part of this um, talking smack about you that they, your person had to defend your, you, your honor against this person. So this person somehow is a part of your person's life. And um, almost like one of those, I'm seeing uh, like a Shakespearean or, or Malarian, uh, Moliere, a Moliere play. They have a narrator who's, who stands in front and, and, and kind of states what's going on in the play and brings the audience to the scenes. That's who this person reminds me of. They are a part of the narration, but they are not a player. And with that, I'm going to relax for a moment and try to retap into this Taurian energy and get some messages. Hopefully they'll remember that they wanted to speak to me. If not, I just have to be honest and say, it didn't work. Two days in a row, I tried to tap into their energy. I don't know how the other people do it. I, I know it's some, of course, they're probably much stronger tarot readers than I am. But 
it seems like they're able to, oh, here's the cards, here's what it means, and, and say, you know, tap right into their energy. I, um, if I don't feel it, I'm stuck, and, and then I have to put it away, pray, meditate, do something else, usually cleaning helps, and then come back and try it again. But um, I love you guys, and, and I, um, I'll do my best, okay? okay? Please like and subscribe so that more people can see uh, the readings. And, um, and please comment. Let me know. I'm going to go. Th I missed the comments, and I'm going to catch up with them today. I read every comment that comes through. Even the ones that are a little bit, I, I still, um, I try to, it, you know, if, if I miss something or if you're like, this was absolutely wrong, um, I try to find something um, to to keep you around because I need you guys. Okay, take good care. Bye-bye.